Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Emily and I talk a lot about Salesforce. Today I'm going to be covering the first five certifications that I would recommend you getting when you are new to Salesforce. Salesforce has a lot of certifications, like a lot, and it can be really overwhelming to understand which certifications are best for you to get and which ones are best for you to leave and what order you should do them in and how to get them and how to study for them and yeah. But let's kind of break it down the first five certifications that I would get if I were starting over today within Salesforce to, I guess, hopefully land me a job within Salesforce as a Salesforce admin and as a Salesforce professional. Some of these certifications I do have, some of them I don't have, but I'll give reasons as to why as well as what a quick overview of what these certifications are. So the first certification I would get is Salesforce Associate. This certification is fairly easy to get as far as Salesforce certifications go. Um, it is the most entry-level Salesforce certification that you can get as of right now when I'm filming this at the end of 2023. Uh, it helps you understand if Salesforce is something that you want to go into. It covers a lot about the Salesforce ecosystem, the different jobs that you'll have within Salesforce, how to navigate around Salesforce, a little bit of the basics of reporting and the data model of Salesforce. This really helps you get your feet wet and help you understand if Salesforce is actually is something that you want to go into without fully committing to a really difficult exam like the admin exam. This one's cheaper, has less questions, and the structure of the questions is easier. So this one is really good to help you understand if that's what you want to do or not. This could help you land a job that is Salesforce adjacent. I wouldn't think that this would help you, at least right now in the current job market, help you to get a Salesforce admin job. You could find something like IT help desk, maybe some type of customer service, customer success job where you are using Salesforce and have other adjacent skills. Maybe sales or revenue operations positions could be gained from this certification. So the second certification I would then get if I wanted to continue on in a Salesforce career would be the admin certification. This certification is going to be difficult. I'm not gonna lie, I'm not gonna sugarcoat it. It is difficult for a number of reasons. Mainly it's because Salesforce is still pretty new to you even if you have that Salesforce associate certification. And the Salesforce admin exam is really used to weed out people who want to become Salesforce professionals and who are able to get certified by Salesforce. It covers a lot of different sections of being a Salesforce admin, like it goes from setting up users to automations to reporting to data models and security models and just it covers a lot and so it is fairly difficult once you have that admin certification then you could start looking for admin jobs but in the current job market it might be a little bit difficult to find an admin job right away with just those two certifications and once i was there and had that admin certification, I would then go for App Builder. Now this might be a little bit of a hot take, but I think that App Builder is a great third certification. It is going to be a difficult one. I'm not gonna lie on that. But it helps you to understand one really crucial thing about being a Salesforce admin. That is going to be the line between being an admin and being a developer. So the App Builder certification tests on what things are going to be done by an admin, what things are going to be done by a developer, as well as there is some crossover between the admin certification and the developer certifications. So it is kind of what people like to call the bridge between those two roles. The app builder is going to focus less on general Salesforce, how to set up users, and it's going to focus more on security model, data model, automations, and reporting. So it is a great third certification to get and to show some more knowledge in Salesforce and it is just really useful for your job. That kind of leads us into the fourth certification that I would recommend getting which is going to be the business analyst certification. So in my opinion this certification is going to be easier than both the admin and the app builder certification but it's going to be slightly more difficult than the associate certification. So the business analyst certification helps you to understand how to ask questions, how to structure projects, and how to deliver on projects. This is really, really crucial in my opinion because it helps you to understand the structure of what is a good project, what steps you need to take when you are asking questions of what you need to deliver as whatever type of Salesforce professional you are, if you are an admin, developer, or an architect, this one really, really helps you understand that. I don't think that the certification really helps you to get a job, but it will really help you in your job and help you retain that job, as well as just helping you be more comfortable delivering on quality projects because you did all the previous work that you needed to to be able to understand what the 
person what the users were actually asking for in this project. The reason why I would put this at number four is because it doesn't necessarily help you get interviews for a job unless it's a business analyst job, but it really helps you in your job to understand a lot of the context of delivering projects. Now this brings us to certification number five to round out our list of the top five certifications. This one's going to be the advanced admin. Now this one might be a little bit controversial, but personally, I think that the advanced admin really shows that you have a higher level of knowledge about the Salesforce ecosystem. A lot of times, and when talking with a lot of recruiters and hiring managers, they specifically search for advanced admin when they're hiring for senior level admins or just mid-level admins that have more knowledge than an entry level admin or a junior admin. The advanced admin, while the certification doesn't necessarily match what a senior level admin should know, in my opinion, it does match up with what recruiters and hiring managers think a senior level admin should be. So now that I put this in number five, why is this certification um, not my favorite? So I think that the certification is pretty difficult and it goes into a lot of really random one-off permissions in your toolbox that you may or may not use in your entire Salesforce career. While the certification is used to qualify senior admins, I wouldn't necessarily say that you'll become a senior admin by getting this certification. Hopefully that made sense. So that is going to be the top five certifications of the first five certifications that I think that you should get within the Salesforce ecosystem. Um, these will help you set you apart as well as kind of round you out as an admin. From those certifications, then you can branch off into becoming an architect, becoming a consultant, you could branch off into becoming a developer. But I think those certifications are really important and the best to your feet firmly planted in the Salesforce ecosystem. So now in talking with my husband, Jeremy, there were a few honorable mentions. He helped me compile this list of the first five certifications. He is, I wanna say a 15 times certified architect in Salesforce. So these are what he found useful. So the two honorable mentions are going to be Sales Cloud Consultant and Service Cloud Consultant. So while these are more specialty certifications as they go into certain clouds, they are more general um, and help you round out your knowledge because when a company is using Salesforce, the two clouds they are going to most often use are going to be Sales Cloud and Service Cloud. And so once you understand the complexities of these certain clouds and you have a rich knowledge in these places, you are going to be a more well-rounded Salesforce professional because you have that in-depth knowledge of these widely used clouds. So I hope that you found this video helpful. If you did, be sure to give it a like, subscribe. If you have any other honorable mentions that you would like to put in the description, I would love to hear them, especially why you would choose those certifications. But thank you so much for joining me today and I'll catch you guys in the next one.